Yo guys, Spotabot here. We got an update for you for Mob of the Dead. Looks like uh, some achievements were leaked. Uh, better specify that. Trophies, there was an update for Black Ops 2, and I didn't see it. I can't replicate this, but uh, a guy, uh, Logan Walker 2012 on Twitter, had sent it to me, and um, I don't know. Take it for what it's worth. At least we know the guy to go to if it's not correct. But it looks legit. It looks like he just took some images. A couple of them are pretty blurry. But whatever. We're going to go with it. If it doesn't turn out to be true, then it's not. And, uh, again, it might have been available for a very short period of time only on PS3. Okay, so let's take a look at the trophies achievements. No one escapes alive is the first one. A silver trophy in Mob of the Dead. Execute the escape plan. And uh, we saw from the trailer yesterday, it looks like the escape plan is taking off from the roof of Alcatraz and going to the Golden Gate Bridge via the buildable airplane. All right, next up, Feed the Beast, a bronze trophy in Mob of the Dead, obtain Hell's Retriever. I'm believing that is the Tomahawk, and I don't think, again, I mentioned it yesterday, I don't think it's available out of the box. I think it's available by unlocking some sort of room somehow in Alcatraz and obtaining that Hell's Retriever, the Flaming Tomahawk. The Tomahawk, you throw it, it explodes the zombies' heads, and it brings back... Upgrades for you. Drops. Yes. Fantastic. Can't wait to use it. But isn't that interesting that it's called Feed the Beast? So I think we know exactly what the beast is. It's that dog. We thought perhaps it was maybe a pack-a-punch, but it looks like you feed that beast enough zombies, and he is the one that unlocks the flaming tomahawk for you in a part of the map. Either maybe it's where he is or in some other part of the map. But Feed the Beast. Yeah, now we know. Now we know what that beast is. Yes! All right, next up, I think that says melding the rounds. In Mob of the Dead, complete the cycle three times, a bronze trophy. And I believe that has to do, again, completing the the airplane and going over to the Golden Gate Bridge. And, and there's something to do with the, uh, with the electric chairs. Now, whether it's completing that cycle three times across any number of games or in the same game, not sure. It doesn't, actually, doesn't specify, but uh, that's trophy number three. All right, next up, Acid Drip, Bronze Trophy, Mob of the Dead, convert a weapon using a kit. And not exactly sure what a kit is, but, um, you know, we talked about upgrading the weapons via Pack-A-Punch. We think there's something else other than Pack-A-Punch in order to upgrade the weapons. So it looks like possibly we can upgrade all the weapons. Maybe, maybe the weapons, this would be pretty cool if the weapons could be upgradable in multiple ways. You can upgrade a weapon... Uh, using acid and using this kit, or as we saw, Reznaz Revenge. This obviously doesn't look to me like it's it's an acid upgraded weapon, but uh, we'll have to see. Because, like I said, that that looks pretty neat. I wonder what this kit is. Full lockdown, a bronze trophy in Mob of the Dead. Brutus completes his patrol, and uh, we saw Brutus and it. it I think that pretty much confirms that Brutus is the guard, is that uh, the boss guard that goes around and locks down the perk machines. So I'm assuming that in this uh, trophy, you have to let him go down and lock down everything. So not only the perk machines, but also the box, as mentioned in the behind-the-scenes trailer, and uh, and then destroy them or whatever, and then unlock them all. And from the behind-the-scenes trailer, we were given the impression that you can unlock them using points. So... That'll be kind of interesting, letting him run around. I don't know, maybe saving a, a, a crawler at the end of a round, let him run around, lock up all the uh, perk machines and the box, and then kill him, and you got your trophy. Booyah! A burst of flavor, bronze trophy, Mob of the Dead, kill 10 zombies at once with a new beverage, and we obviously know the new beverage is called Electric Cherry, and when you reload, you have this electrical charge that kills the zombies around you. So you're probably going to have to do this at a fairly early round. I'm not sure how much it impacts zombies, you know, how much health. I'm sure it doesn't affect infinite health or whatever. So, you know, round 100, you're not going to kill that many zombies. So, you know, round them up, circle them, train them, and then reload, and you should be able to kill 10 zombies. Hopefully. All right, next up, we got Paranormal Progress in Mob of the Dead. Open, the, open a door without spending points. Another 
bronze trophy. So, you know, when we talked about uh, being in purgatory and the afterlife and interacting with things, you know, we saw you're able to to produce this uh, electrical charge. You can kill zombies and you can interact presumably with electrical equipment. Well, it looks like we can even open doors without spending points when we're in purgatory, which is pretty cool. You don't have to spend your points on opening doors. You just go into purgatory and open them for free. I like it. All right, this one ties into going to the Golden Gate Bridge. GG Bridge, Bronze Trophy, and Mob of the Dead survive an entire round on the bridge on round 15 or higher. So I don't think there's too many places to go on the bridge. It's just going to be a straight onslaught of zombies. So I don't know. Maybe you can run circles on the bridge. Who knows? Maybe it's big enough to do that. But uh, I doubt it's, it's a huge area. I mean, you know, think about it. It's a Golden Gate Bridge. You can run from one end to the other. That's about it. Trapped in time. Bronze Trophy and Mob of the Dead use and upgrade all traps before round 10. So this is interesting. Not only, you know, we saw the acid trap and we saw the fan trap in the trailers, but not only do we have these traps, but they're upgradable. So that's interesting. I, I don't know if we saw the non-upgraded versions in the trailer or we saw the upgraded versions in the trailer. It'd be interesting to see how these traps upgrade and what you need to do in order to upgrade them. But that's uh, that's the second last trophy we've got here. And finally, we've got Pop Goes the Weasel in Mob of the Dead Break the Cycle. Now, this is only a bronze trophy. To me, this this I would think this would be a higher level trophy, like a, a silver or a gold, because it almost sounds like, yeah, you have this cycle of, of taking the airplane and going to the bridge and back again. But breaking that cycle may be the real Easter egg here, perhaps. But seeing as it's a bronze bronze level trophy, I don't know. Not sure really what to make of that one. Anyways, that's it. Those are, what, the 10, 2, 4, 6, 8? Yes, 10 trophies that were briefly available for viewing on PS3. They're not available on Xbox yet. I have checked. And uh, they usually do release them a couple of days before the map pack releases. So I was kind of curious as to why it was released on PS3. But uh, thanks again to uh, Logan Walker on Twitter. I'll put a link to his uh, Twitter ID in the video description so we know who to go to if this is all wrong. <laughs> I, it looks legit, though. I mean, come on. He's got screenshots. Yeah, he took it with a crappy phone. Typical, right? Typical f screenshots on a crappy phone. But there's 10 of them, so yeah. And it sounds reasonable, all right? We'll go with that. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. I'm spidering him out.